For dealing with string or categorical data, Pandas provides a special data type called category. Many a times in your data set, if you have a string column, instead of having it as a string column itself, you might want to convert it to a category column. Why? Because this has certain advantages. The main advantage is a category column occupies lesser memory space compared to a string column or an object column. Because the memory occupied by the string column in a data frame is dependent on the number of rows of that particular data frame or the length of that particular column. Whereas if you convert it to a categorical column, the memory required to store it is mainly dependent on the number of categories present in that categorical column. So that is one reason. Another reason is if there is any intrinsic ordering to the categories of that string column or a categorical column, converting it or putting it as a category is beneficial. And another main reason is if you are storing that as a categorical variable. Another main reason is if you are storing it as a categorical variable, it will signal to other machine learning libraries that this particular column should be treated as categorical data. That will be very clear when you are storing it as categorical data. Alright, so let's do example on the property crimes data set. So what we are going to first do is we are going to convert this group name into a categorical data type. Let's first examine what is what is the existing data type of the columns. You see here the group name is now stored as object. All strings are having a data type called object. So that is how this group name is also stored. To convert it to a categorical data, one popular way is use as type and set it as category. Now look at this and let's check the info. Now group name cat we have created just now. This is having a categorical data type. Now that specific data type is called categorical D type. Inside this, it also contains the information about what are all the different categories that can be possible with that particular data type. And of course, the original data type is object. So using as type, you can create a categorical variable. Another way of creating a categorical variable is using pd.categorical. Pass in the data. This is a series. Pass in what are all the different categories this series can hold. So these are nothing but the unique values of group name cat. So here we don't need to mention it as cat because it is already a categorical variable. Underscore cat is already categorical. So I'm going to remove this and run. So you can create it this way also. Now internally, even though the representation contains strings inside it, the categorical variable contains strings. But internally when it is getting stored, it is stored in the form of categorical quotes. To extract those quotes, use cat.quotes or the variable name dot quotes attribute. You can get the codes inside. So this is the actual data. Now here zero represents this particular burglary hyphen property category. Likewise, the category code six represents the last category in this list. You can see the actual category names using cat.categories attribute. Now a question to you, will the result of cat dot categories the output of this and the output of cat dot unique will they always be the same 